Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a little bit overdue but I'm going to be cleaning and protecting the brand new bowl of B15 wheels I've installed onto the GT86. I'm going to take you guys through a step-by-step -step directional video of how to do it yourself so stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay guys, so as you could tell from that little intro there, we're going to be cleaning and protecting the Bowler B15 wheels that we installed onto the GT86, which is behind the camera. And before we get into any of the meat and bones with this video and actually doing them things, I just want to talk around the products and processes that we're going to take when we're going to be doing it. I'm very lucky to have had these products supplied by Auto Bright Direct. If you've never had a look at them, take a look at the link down in the description go have a look on their website and look at their vast range of car cleaning things but i've been down there a couple of times and i went down for the cars coffee and car Uber meet last month where mark gave me a couple of bits that we're going to run through in a second but let's have a look to see what we're going to be using so i'm going to run through these products in order of use just so you guys can get a good idea of what we're going to be doing so we're going to start off with the buckets this again is also bright direct it's actually got a grip guard in there as well which is always useful for when you're washing the car in general General. Second up, after the wheels we've been given a light wash, we're then going to be using Bright Gel. Now Bright Gel is a non-acidic wheel cleaner, I've been using this for a little while now and it's absolutely fantastic, it smells delicious, it does a brilliant job and this is what's going to give the majority of the clean. And once the wheels have been cleaned then we're going to move on to decontamination, so we're actually going to be using the Purple Rain. Now Purple Rain is a fallout remover, you'll spray it onto the wheel, we're going to do the barrels as well so you'll see a good idea of how this works, but it reacts with the particles that are on the wheel and it turns purple hence the name purple rain this is designed to be able to get rid of all the contaminants prior to applying a wax to sealant or anything like that but this can be used all over the car it's not just a wheel cleaner it's not even designed as a wheel cleaner it's just designed as a fallout remover so once purple rain has been applied the fallout remover will then get to work leave it a couple of minutes let it react with the, the chemicals on the surface of the wheel and then we're going to wash that off then we're going to give it a quick dry with the towels in the back over there and then it's moving on to the protecting stage of the video. So talking about protecting the wheels and we've got two products which are going to use to do that the first of which is Auto Bright Direct Blends. Now this is a wheel sealant. Mark who owns Auto Bright recommended to put three coats of it on to leave it fully protected for around six months which will take me nicely over the winter period to make sure my wheels don't get too dirty because of course when you put wheel sealant on them it does repel brake dust and dirt. For the actual application of the wheel sealant we're going to be using the knuckle duster applicator pad so this is going to be used all in the barrels, all on the faces and everywhere where there's a painted surface. So when it comes to the process of applying the blends you need to make sure that the wheel is completely dry and that's simply because you want the product to bond to the paintwork rather than be repelled by water so what you do is apply it all over all the painted surfaces or where you want the protection to be leave it five minutes to haze up and it become fairly fairly noticeable when that hazes and then we're going to be buffing it off with the Hustler buffing towel. This thing is incredibly soft and I've got no qualms that this is going to do a brilliant job of buffing off the wheel sealant. What we're then going to do is we're going to leave it half an hour, four to five minutes for the wheel sealant then to dry and then we're going to apply another coat and then another coat later on. What we'll do, I'll get a before and after of the wheels on the car so you can see the difference in cleaning and also what they look like once they're protected. But let's get in to the video. Okay, so what you want to do is give the wheel a good rinse off. We're not using anything special here, it's just a hose and water, but what we're making sure is that the products we use have lubricity. It's the same story with the rears of the wheels, including the barrels, just to make sure we get rid of any loose dirt and to prevent any damage being done when we're contact washing, which is the next step. So it's moving on to the contact washing then we've just got some shampoo and some warm water in the bucket and what we're doing is just going around with a soft lambs roll mitt some of you will notice that i haven't gone into much detail with getting into the the proper nuts and crannies but that's simply because i am going to be cleaning it a couple more times before we dry it out properly 
So we've got the main parts of the faces washed. I'm just going to go into the bits between the spokes now just to give it a quick wash. Where you see my fingers going behind the spokes, that's a notorious part for a lot of dirt. So make sure you do get rid of that in the first instance before you come to any serious washing after this point. So at this point I've just left the soap to hang a little bit, now I'm just going to rinse it off, I didn't show you washing the inside of the barrel because that would just be boring, but now we're going to move on to the bright gel and using the detailing brush set. So we've got the bright gel to hand and we're going to put it on every single painted surface we can see. Now I have sped this video up a little bit simply because it is an incredibly long video, I wanted to make sure that I got every single part I could possibly get. Whilst this video is running out then I want to talk about preparation and I can't stress enough how important preparation is. Make sure you clean every single surface, you decontaminate every single surface because if you don't the products that you're using will not stick and it'll just be a big waste of money and a waste of time as well. So make sure you do your homework and your preparation before applying any product. Okay so that's the first stage of the washing done. So the wheels have been removed, we've washed them with shampoo, we've given them a rinse as well. We've used the bright gel with the detailing brush set which I actually forgot to put in the beginning of this video so the detailing brush set is this beautiful thing here and I'll show you guys in a second what they actually look like but essentially there's four or five six different size brushes of which I'm going to be using on this wheel to make sure I get into all of the crevices next up is the purple rain so we're going to use another one of these and this is the fallout remover so this is where it's going to turn purple and look very good for the camera I hope so we're on the floor again with purple rain to hand and what we're going to be doing is spraying it in the exact same fashion as what we did with the bright gel all over every single painted surface. Now this won't give any additional cleanliness in terms of a visual perspective but it will get rid of all the contaminants which you will see in a second when we look at how it reacts. I must say that I have used quite a few fallout removers in the past and they don't smell great but this has kind of a berry scent to it which is nice and it doesn't smell terrible. So as you guys can see I'm actually sat on the floor next to the wheel which is here. Um, I just want to say the Purple Rain does a fantastic job. I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower in the background. But I just want to show you what the reaction is like when you see the contaminants coming out in the Purple Rain. Um, it's not massive because these wheels are fairly new so they haven't had a lot of abuse. They haven't been on the car for too long and also I've kept them in pretty good condition until now when it was absolutely filthy before I cleaned them. But let's just have a look to see what the Purple Rain actually does. Okay, so the purple rain has had time to dwell. It's probably had five minutes or so between me chatting to the camera and just having a drink and just sorting myself out. I wish I would have worn gloves though because my hands do smell like fallout remover, which isn't great. Um, let's get on with rinsing the wheels off. Then we're going to dry them and then we're going to get into the application of the blends wheel sealant. I am using an old drying towel here to get the majority of the water off before taking it inside and using a smaller microfiber towel to get the rest of it off. Now the bowlers have some funny spots but I must stress you need the wheel to be 110% dry before any application of any product to ensure perfect bonding. Okay so the wheel has been washed, it's been decontaminated and it's been given a quick dry. So the wheel is just here, it's just out of shot there. I'm just going to give it a once over with another little microfiber towel to make sure it's completely dry. We're going to get the gloves on and then we're going to apply some blends. I'm sat here editing the video and doing a voiceover to make sure I get all the information across. I keep hearing myself talking about putting some gloves on and I don't end up doing it. It is best practice to be able to do it to make sure no chemicals or products get absorbed into the skin. So make sure you do wear gloves. Now as you can see, I'm just running over the rest of the wheel with another microfiber to make sure every single surface is dry before putting any product on there or even thinking of putting any products on there because I want the products to bond properly and I want it to stick to the wheel and do its proper job. Okay, so the instructions on here say to leave a light, thin coat around the complete face of the wheel with the applicator pad which we've got here. So I'm just going to crack on with that and I'll come back to you guys once I've applied the first coat and once we're ready to buff off with the Reaper.
Okay, so that's the first coat of blends applied to the Bowler B15. I'm gonna leave it between five and 10 minutes just for it to haze up. It was a little bit difficult to see where I was applying the product, but just by maneuvering around and sort of looking around with different light and stuff like that, I could see it. But we're gonna leave that. I'm gonna come back to you guys when we're gonna be buffing it off. And then once all four of the wheels are done, I'll come back to you guys when they're on the car. And we'll have a look to see what they look like. I am not going to show you washing, cleaning, drying, decontaminating all four of the wheels because it'll just take absolutely forever. Just while we're waiting for the wheels to haze up, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the products and what my thoughts were on using them. So we're going to start off with Bright Gel. Now Bright Gel is something that I've used before so I know exactly how it works. It smells fantastic, has brilliant cleaning properties and it's safe to use on any painted surface on the wheels of course. You'll see the massive difference between the very very beginning when I showed you how dirty they were, just until after I use the bright gel. Massive difference already and a lot of people would be happy with that cleanliness. Next up we use the purple rain and again I think I've got the new purple rain which is more of a gel base simply because it didn't smell as bad. Yes it still smelled a little bit bad as does all fallout remover but it didn't smell as bad. It's got a bit of a berry scent to it which is good. As you guys can see from the clips I'm just going to put onto the screen now you'll see that it did react with the contaminants in the wheel albeit a little bit less for the camera because I was sort of agitating it with the brush so it was more about actually getting the wheel clean than just how it looks on camera. And of course the elephant in the room which is the blend wheel sealant and the applicator pad that we used. My only concern with the applicator pad was that it was a little bit too big. I mean I've got one from Dodo Juice that you put on your fingers um, and what you can essentially do is just sort of get into all the crevices and stuff that would be brilliant. So Mark if you are watching this and you have a product idea please do something like that. It just made the application of the wheel sealant a lot easier. And I've actually got other products products to use the applicator pads with which will come on in a couple of videos time which that will be perfect for it there's no reason or no doubt about that. The wheel sealant itself smells exactly like Cherry Bakewell's which smells absolutely fantastic and um, it is a very very nice product to work with it spreads easily and we'll find out in a second how it buffs off. But overall, I am very impressed with the products that I have used. As always with Autobrite, you can find all the links down to the products in the description of this video. And I'm just going to go and buff off the blend wheel sealant from what we just did earlier. Okay, so we've flipped the wheel back over. And as you can see, let me just get a little bit zoomed in. You can see it's sort of hazing along the middle as well and also along these parts but the light isn't great here there's a lot of light coming from that direction so it's pretty difficult to see the hazing it's definitely there so we've got the governor buffing towel here that we're going to use um, just to get all of the product off now so as i was just sorting out the buffing towel to be able to do that with i just noticed this sort of embossed logo which is auto bright direct that's actually pretty cool it's a nice touch um but let's get on with it let's do it while we're on camera So first thing that I'm going to say whilst I'm doing this, and I'm not going to film every single part of it, but the product is coming off very easily. Um, it's actually left quite a nice shine, which you can see there as well. I'm just going to get the rest of this done and then we'll catch up once it's finished. Okay, so we've buffed the blend wheel sealant off now. Now it's left an incredibly glossy shine, which I'll show you guys in a second. Again, I just want to reiterate, it was incredibly easy to buff off and maybe even put too much product on in the first place. The drying towel took it off very, very easily and left it with a very, very nice shine, which I'm going to show you guys now shine away my friends it's actually making me a little bit sad that this is probably the cleanest my wheels will ever be but as you can see nice glossy shine as you can see around that bit as well um, overall very very good result and I'm happy with it just need to put a couple more coats on now two thousand years later so many 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 hours later we finally got the wheels fully sealed the difficulty was that I only felt comfortable taking one wheel off at a time but we did do something additional which I didn't show on camera which makes it look a little bit better. So let's have a look at the wheels. So we just sat down by near the driver's side wheel. As you can see the wheels are incredibly clean now. They are fully coated and fully protected. So that should be it throughout the winter months. Because I was only doing one wheel per time, um, I did manage to actually get the calipers painted as well. So they're in a, a post box red. But I just think it has a nice contrast between the bronze and the red. Um, See if we can get a bit of a, a bit of a distance on it. There you are. And then we're just by the driver's rear now, as you can see, uh, that caliper has also been painted, so it does look very nice all in all. The products were incredibly easy to use, and a big thank you again to Autobrite for supplying them to me. Again, if you want to have a look at their website, have a look at their products, there will be a link down in the description. But that's all for today's video, so if you have enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>